Today we are at the event to announce an MOU between Meta and ONDC to help small businesses take advantage of the availability of the network to grow their digital commerce. Digital commerce is very underpenetrated in the country. In fact, contributes to barely 6% of total commercial activity. So a large population of sellers is actually not part of this digital universe. They're not part of it in large part because they're not aware. In large part, they may not feel what advantages they have. And importantly, even if they know, feel they have an advantage, they struggle to make it work uh, in the way the e-commerce is structured today. So what ONDC is trying to do is democratize that access and make it possible for any seller to become part of a network where they can access sellers at scale, where they can access logistics and other complementary services and be able to do digital business, digital commerce without having to build the other parts themselves. And so operate as they operate today, but to be able to access digital commerce. Meta similarly has an interest in helping small businesses uh, promote themselves, grow in terms of audience who can reach them and discover them. They also have capability to train them to perform with excellence. And so this is a perfect meeting for both parties where the democratization objectives and the excellence objectives come together to, that's essentially what this MOU is about. I think the uh, expectation that everyone has uh, is that it's a magic button, that moment somebody comes live, automatically their orders will start growing. Uh, we wish that were true, but that's actually not true. And it's no different than if you were to think about, let's say, telephone-based commerce some time back. Just because you have a SIM card in your mobile phone doesn't mean people will start calling you. You have to share your number, you have to promote your number, and then they can call you. So sellers still will have to promote to their customers. The difference is that now they do not have to do an expensive method of promotion. They do not have to compete with big brands to uh, wrestle uh, for limited space for that promotion. They can promote in their own way, in their own circle, directly to, the, to their customers. And their customers, when they respond to that promotion, will come directly to their store. They will not get distracted to some other store or some other seller. So there is a benefit and a need for sellers to promote themselves. And if they do, they will gain the traction. Not only will they gain traction, they will create a digital history, which will enable them to get new customers. It will enable them to get finances. So the benefits of joining the network are, yes, grow your business, but also enable that growth to enable further growth and for you to access more resources that make you more competitive and stronger. And we are examining ways in which what already exists can either be connected with or uh, directly come onto the network in some fashion. Obviously, once you've created a certain platform or a certain application for a certain purpose and the permissions and the consent that you've taken, you have to examine all those components and to see therefore how best you can uh, make the connections with the other system. But these are conversations that are on and we have no doubt that we'll be able to find a bridge that connects what Meta has already created for small businesses with the network that ONDC is creating in a very easy, seamless fashion soon.